Hello friends, uh, this is Arun Achimuthu. I'm a SEBI registered research analyst. Investment in these securities markets are subject to market risk. Read all related documents carefully in the below links before acting on any recommendation. Kindly check our disclaimer and disclosure to know more. We'll get started. In this video, you will be learning a new no-brainer strategy. So you will be learning how to trade without using any indicators, any technical jargons, like how a simple mathematics or like a simple Excel, which you can download uh, from our app, um, will be using to predict uh, the monthly supports, resistance, the selling area, buying area, and how one could apply the same um, in cash and option trades. We will get started. I believe you might have heard about uh, the letter Pi. Pi is nothing but uh, it is an universal constant which stands for 3.14 and with, with respect to uh, geometry, so it is nothing it, but it defines uh, the ratio between circumference of the circle and diameter of the circle. Since this ratio is same for all the circle, it is attached instantly to the idea of circularity. And of course, circle is in fundamental in shape. So the nature has got lot of significance with respect to the fundamental ratio. And other significance with respect to pi. So it was derived from the Greek letter because the Greek word for periphery begins with the letter pi. The periphery of the circle was the precursor to the perimeter of the circle and that is called as circumference in the current days and most interesting thing with respect to pi it was uh, discovered uh, or coined by the great mathematician Euler who himself was blind ok now let us get started without any uh, boring stuff so we are going to use this pi uh, to predict uh, the major tops and bottoms so this pi can be used in intraday, pi can be used in positional. Pi works majorly with respect to positional and we are going to discuss uh, how one could make use of pi for the positional methods. You can always trade with small stop loss in cash or options for the bigger targets. Reason is like the risk reward ratio is very good once we trade in these methods. And of course uh, it is an universal constant and it is widely used in mathematics. It existed even before the Big Bang and it is permanent and it is never changing. Now we look into the most interesting part. So Nifty in July there was a pie sell around 16,258 and it made low of 15,849. 400 points uh, were completed based on the simple method. So how to derive this number 16258 and how do we know whether it is an intraday or positional we are going to look at that. So before we get started just download this particular excel ok. So this excel uh, you need to understand this method. So the first thing which you are going to do take the previous month close ok just follow all these 5 steps. The first step is take the previous month close. So for August we need to take a July uh, close data, for July we need to have the June data. Okay. Now let us say uh, June Nifty closed at 15,790. Right? Now we are going to find the pi factor. So what is pi factor? You can just find the formula. It is nothing but you take the close divided by pi or like 3.14 and again divide the same by 10. Okay. So the reason like why we are uh, using uh, uh, 10 is it is an important um, constant which filters a lot of noises and of course this method is uh, duly backtested and uh, the constant phi 
has got lesser accuracy but the constant 10 it has got the max accuracy and if you are a positional player you can just stick with this okay now we know how to derive the pi factor it is nothing but you take the previous uh, close and divide it by 31.4 31.4 is nothing but 3.14 divided by 10 in very simple words you take the previous close and divide it by 10 pi and you have the pi factor right so pi factor is the step two you are calculating pi factor and you add this pi factor to the close okay you have the pi resistance one so this is nothing but the close plus pi factor that is 16282 now again you subtract uh, the pi factor from the close you have the pi support 15277 so how do we get this close minus pi factor so likewise we can go uh, towards uh, the second uh, um, cycle okay i'll tell you the uh, logic like why this pi works as we were speaking so pi plays a vital role with respect to circle or it is used to measure the diameter or the circumference of circle so circles are not nothing but when we speak in terms of like um, trading so circles constitute the cycle right so once let us say like uh, we have a close around uh, here we would be uh, using the pi factor to con to find uh, the circles or the cycles okay so the reversal could occur at first cycle or the reversal could occur at second cycle at the max with respect to index it has not um, gone beyond the three or you are supposed to find the three supports and the three resistance with respect to index very rarely it goes beyond that of course uh, during the time of covid none of the technicals worked so those cases rarely we might have gone till six but in general pi 3 is more than enough and just note this down 2 pi works best in banded t okay so just write it down 2 pi which means in bank nifty the second uh, uh, resistance or the second support it has got higher percentage of working okay and nifty both pi and 2 pi will be working but just remember this bank nifty 2 pi it has got very big and better risk reward ratio of course the 1 pi or pi will be working in bank nifty as well but here the risk reward ratio is extremely high so just remember uh, you have to consider the second cycle for bank nifty okay now with this cycle theory we are go going to find uh, the cycles or the numbers where the major tops and bottoms are going to happen once again i repeat so you take the previous month close divided by 31.4 you get the pi factor uh, you add the pi factor to close you have the first cycle resistance and just multiply this by 2 and add it to here okay so this is what you have here so it has been multiplied by 2 right and once this particular number is added to the close you have the second resistance or in very simple terms uh, you have the first cycle number so this is the pi factor add it you get this number and again uh, to this number you add this number you will be getting uh, say the r3 or the third cycle okay so you have to keep on adding the pi factor to the close the first pi factor plus call you would get the first cycle resistance multiply the pi factor into 2 you get the second resistance or second cycle resistance multiply the pi factor into 3 and add to uh, the monthly close you have the third and this goes on okay now with this we know uh, nifty has got resistance around uh, 16 282 so this is how like based on june data we have derived the july data with respect to july data this is the first resistance this is the first support uh, based on pi and this is the second uh, pi resistance and this is the second pi support so what happened um, so from 16258 it started to reverse 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 and it cutted by 400 points right since like pi is positional as long as this high is not taken out one could like try continuing uh, following the major trend just remember this and again if you just see this number was kind of retested and again uh, the nifty started to fall now let's take a case with respect to bnf so bank nifty we will take the excel so this data was uh, triggered on september 6 
so we'll we take august close and we have got the pi first cycle second cycle third cycle resistance with respect to bank nifty so what happened so august closes 37594 the pi factor how did we get this we take this number and, and we divide it by 31.4 we have the 1197 we add to close we have the first uh, resistance and again we add this 1197 to the close so if you just see we have the second pi resistance that is 39988 so what happened uh, we all know like the 2 pi is very powerful with respect to bank nifty the moment it touched 39988 it started to fall and again it was like kind of retested and it corrected by 700 points right so this is the story of uh, bnf and what about the stop loss so we all know uh, so we know how to calculate the pi factor how to calculate the resistance support so how to calculate the stop loss in very simple terms it is nothing but uh, you take the pi factor and divide it by 3 for example here the pi factor is 1064 when you divide it by 3 the stop loss is 354 points so pi is positional and those data are valid for that particular month and just try to follow uh, the trend or like what the pi says nifty pi naught to is pi factor the stop loss is 167 if in case you are a small player you feel these sl as big you can trade with small sl okay so you can trade with like 51 points as sl for nifty or 151 point as sl for bank nifty if you want to trade with small risk but uh, this is the standard pi pi methods stop loss okay so you have to just find 33 33 percent or like you have to divide the pi factor divided by three you have the sl so whatever is sl that is the target right now let's uh, discuss uh, the same thing with respect to few of these stocks as well so we are just following these steps first we have taken the previous month we have taken the pi factor we have taken the cyclic values uh, pi r1 r2 s1 s2 all these values we have taken and you are going to wait for these numbers to come okay so bank nifty of course you can uh, try short around uh, the pi one which is kind of risky pi r1 once this is taken out simply wait till what number at this particular number okay so don't, don't uh, uh, short uh, anywhere in between of course you might use your own methods but based on uh, pi uh, the first resistance is here and the, the second resistance is very very far away right so just stick to the numbers and you can initiate the trades after doing the basic uh, price action or like the reversal candlestick validation yes it is 33 percent of pi factor let's look into a few more examples so here again uh, june june month data it got triggered on uh, july uh, 11th so if you just see june month uh, 33 425 uh, 2 pi is uh, 35 554 and what happened from 35 545 and of course like uh, 10 or 20 points buffer you could allow with respect to index uh, it started to reverse and more than 1070 points got completed if in case you have bought a weekly uh, pe or like monthly pe you would have made wonderful profits again with respect to uh, july um, it got triggered on uh, august 19 39750 and 890 points is done so this is july data so the closest 37491 and the resistance is 39.879 from that we fall uh, with respect to nifty we will take uh, this data we will take nifty jan data so the close is 17.338 and the pi factor is 5.52 uh, the pi resistance is 17.890 and the pi support is 16.786 since this is positional of course like 20 to 30 points um, uh, before it could reverse with respect to nifty um, but you just understand like okay so we have like got a pi support and of course market would be falling at this particular time and avoid going shorts okay so here what happened um, from 16 8 10 it started to reverse so 675 points got completed right so this is not all the cases but some cases uh, like we will be having small buffer with respect to index or stocks but the intention of pi is very clear like the bulls are here and we could expect good reversal over let's consider this bajaj finance so initially the pi buy got active then the first pi sell got active 
and then the second uh, pi cell got active so that is the beauty of pi that you can just see like how it is creating uh, the waves wonderfully right so first by and you could book over here here cell got activated some drop and again here second pi uh, the second resistance got activated and again it is I will take an example uh, beta so biocon again like uh, 2 pi from 290 17% up move was there beta and India will take so we have like uh, the uh, pi second cycle pi around 1817 and 1931 114 points or 6.2 percent return was done so we are just trying to take uh, uh, the august data so as like it will be easy for you to do the calculation right so with respect to stocks all the august month close we have taken okay and we are using uh, the numbers for uh, the september uh, support and resistance so we just see it's all up in uh, the first cycle got the major top biocon the second cycle got uh, the major bottom but judge finance uh, first cycle in buy and sell and second cycle in uh, sell got it tata consumer second cycle got it right so we could expect the major reversal to happen from the first cycle or the second cycle with respect to bank nifty always remember uh, two pi is best or like it's a, like a better number stocks of course every stock have their own uh, vibration and uh, like they will be reacting accordingly but you can make use of these numbers so, uh, Beta India from 1817, uh, it went up and it made high of uh, 1931. Right? So, this is uh, the story of uh, Chola Pin from uh, 674, 0.91, Data Consumer from 861, 760. Just see like uh, how how is the fall. If in case you have taken here, uh, what is your SL uh, with respect to Data Consumer? SL is Eight point nine points, right? So for nine point risk, it has given you um, like close to hundred points. Risk reward ratio is one is to ten, right? So that is the advantage uh, you have when you just go with the no brainer or analog methods. So if in case you have any query with respect to uh, pi, uh, you could reach us uh, through the live chat. And uh, this particular Excel, which is vital for the pi calculation, uh, you can just download from the materials. And of course we have automated uh, pi so like we have like a separate uh, channel like where we'll be like uh, uh, getting these calls uh, once in a day and if, if in case uh, uh, you need that you could reach us as well now just remember um, you are going to follow these five steps step one take the previous month close step two calculate the pi factor step three calculate the pi resistance and uh, support cycles step four you have to just wait patiently for uh, these numbers to come do the validation and enter with small stop loss once you have entered just play the sl sl is always 33 percent of pi factor right if you're an option uh, lower try to trade after um, like 10th where the stock option premium would be like uh, very much low and uh, the risk reward ratio would be very much better of course this is one of our favorite method and um, you could uh, see like a lot of our free calls uh, which you are generating and which are giving like good returns um, they would be like based on uh, these setups as well thank you friends um, trade with small stop loss always and without uh, fail subscribe to our youtube channel harmonic traders to learn lot of uh, mathematical methods and join in our telegram channel harmonic traders